Good evening, I'm Bree Goodson. Thank you for joining us for WVUA 23 Sports. Cleveland Cavaliers guard Derrick Rose is reportedly taking a leave from the team to evaluate his NBA future. Rose is currently out because of an injury and would miss at least two weeks. If Rose retires, he would leave the remaining six years and about $70 million from his Adidas shoe deal on the table. Rose has appeared in seven games this season and is averaging 14.3 points per game. Saturday night, after many ejections and an injury, Alabama ended up playing three on five against Minnesota in the Barclays Center Classic. Just six minutes, 21 seconds into the second half, a fight broke out involving Minnesota's Dupree McBrayer and Alabama's Dazon Ingram. Not even 27 seconds earlier, Minnesota's Nate Mason and Alabama's Colin Sexton both received a technical foul for jawing at each other, with Mason being ejected. Five players came off the bench, which also resulted in them being ejected from the game. Ingram had four fouls at the time of the scuffle and fouled out. Alabama also ended up losing John Petty to a leg injury, which left them with only three players. Colin Sexton kept the Alabama game, ending with 40 points. Alabama will play Louisiana Tech Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Coleman Coliseum. After consecutively starting over 200 games, New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning will be benched, giving Geno Smith and rookie Davis Webb an opportunity to start this weekend. Sunday's fight between Denver Broncos cornerback Akib Talib and Oakland Raiders wide receiver Michael Crabtree has left them suspended for only one game instead of originally two games. They will both be eligible to play on week 14. Finally, as soon as the regular season ended, some Southeastern Conference schools started making some coaching changes. Arkansas fired coach Brett Belema and Ole Miss has decided to keep interim coach Matt Luke as their permanent head coach. Texas A&M fired Kevin Sumlin and Florida has hired Mississippi State coach Dan Mullen to take over their program. Meanwhile, Clemson is the new number one team in the latest poll, followed by Oklahoma, Wisconsin, and Auburn. Alabama slips to number five after their Iron Bowl loss on Saturday. So what do you say? Let's move on to basketball. That's the news for now. I'm Bree Goodson. Thanks for watching and have a great night.